if we have a flu-like illness and we are pretty sick, clearly we won't even leave the house because we don't feel well. It's the milder cases that you, we know you're having a low-grade fever, your nose is blocked, you have a bit of sore throat, you feel a little bit miserable, but you're still able to go out and do things and you feel that you have to go to the office or you feel you have to go to the shops for some reason. Uh, that's where the transmission occurs. The facts tell us that even if you are mildly symptomatic, and some people might say even with no symptoms, you can still transmit. This new coronavirus is behaving a little bit like flu because even with mild symptoms, it's already able to transmit. Not very, uh, uh, it doesn't transmit easily yet, but it can already transmit. And there have been many cases documented around the world. Unlike SARS, SARS, you only transmit when your fever is there. So this, that's why it makes it more difficult to control. It varies uh, with three different uh, parameters. Number one is the temperature. Uh, the hotter it is, the less it will survive. So it's now still winter in the temperate countries. So that's why it's spreading uh, significantly there. Many of us hope that when the summer months come for the northern hemisphere, that transmission may actually drop. That was what happened with SARS. So we hope, hopefully that will be the case as well. The other parameter is the humidity. The more humid, the longer it survives. The drier the environment, the less it's, it survives. The other thing is on the surface that the that droplet falls on. All right? If it's a hard surface, uh, it can survive actually for quite a long time because it may not dry. It takes a much longer time to dry off. But if it falls on something like linen or cloth, uh, which can dry off faster, uh, it may not survive as long. It can still survive uh, from hours to days. So besides hand hygiene, I think surface disinfection, surface cleansing is also important.